Hi everyone. Happy Friday. I know I am late, but I wanted to come on and participate in Theme Thursday because I saw in a video or so yesterday when I was trying to catch up um, that this week was camping, I think. <laughs> if I'm wrong, then I'm just showing you this outfit for fun. <clears throat> so <laughs> I've had this outfit um, in a in its packaging and you know I'm thinking I've only had it for a little while and I bought it new from Jimboree and uh, I got it off the clearance section of their website you know long before they decided to uh, close shop and I got to putting this on and looking at it and I don't know if you can see this there but it has a date on it. 2015. I've had this outfit <laughs> since 2015, still in the package. And when I say package, when you order online, they put each individual piece in a plastic bag to uh, protect the material from, you know, rubbing against each other and all that during, during travel. And plus it probably adds another layer of protection if the outer bag that they ship, they used to ship in would get torn and dirt would, you know, enter into the bag or something like that. So yeah, I was like, <laughs> I can't believe I've had this outfit for so long. But um, I decided to put it on Lewis, as you can see here. Um, I got a request to show him and, you know, folks have been missing him so I decided to use him today and he is just looking super adorable in this little onesie that has a bear on it and it says happy camper and then that little patch down there that's <laughs> embarrassingly has the date of how long I've had this in a package <laughs> Jeez, I have a problem guys <laughs> and it came with um the little jeans that he's wearing and I think they're kind of like a capri because they, they're a little bit um, they don't quite go down the whole way but he has navy socks you probably can't even see the socks because they're buried sort of in his blanket but yeah <laughs> but we're avid campers and you know when I when I heard someone say in their video something about camping I was like oh I know I knew I had this outfit I remember getting it and I just never opened it for some reason. And thought, what a perfect opportunity to use it today. So right, Lewis? Yeah, he's looking so innocent, but trust me, guys, he's not innocent. And I know some of you don't care for monsters. Um, and that's okay. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to stay. And maybe those that don't have already clicked off or avoided this video altogether. But I can guarantee you, he won't be able to bite you through the screen. You're pretty safe. If you watch The Walking Dead, and you've never gotten bit by a zombie, you're not going to get bit by little Lewis here. <laughs> so, um, again, I haven't been around for a while, and I've been busy, at work especially, um, my full-time job. We have a lot of deadlines that come up in the springtime. And yeah, it just kind of kept me busy. <clears throat> it's budget time. Um, it's annual evaluation time. And there's two budgets I have to uh, be concerned with. The one the in the fiscal year that we're currently in, I have to worry about that budget. And then I also have to create a new budget for next fiscal year. And, you know, it takes time. It takes research. It takes, you know, lots of conversations with everyone in the department. And just, yeah, time. It takes time. So yesterday, I think I hit, I hit sort of a plateau where I was stressed, 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 stressed. And then I finally got to a point where... 
I felt like, oh my gosh, I feel like this is going to finally turn a corner now because I, I finished some evaluations for employees that I supervise and I had a plan for, you know, taking care of the, of the additional funds I have in my current budget. And then I also made a huge stride on getting together the budget for next fiscal year. And I was just like, ah, you know, that big sigh of relief. (laughs) And it's, it's unavoidable. I mean, we go, all of us where I work, we go through the same stress pinch pressure points every year at this time. We know it's coming. It's almost like we have anxiety that it's coming even, but we know it's coming. And when it hits, it's like you've just all of a sudden went from juggling your normal things to, Hey, let's add like, you know, five or six more things for you to juggle at the same time. (laughs) So yeah, it can be very, very stressful. So, (laughs) but yeah, I'm, I'm happy that I got past the majority of that and all is good for now. Um, I'm not done yet. I'm not out of the woods, but I just made like major headway and it just sort of turned the corner, you know, like all, like all of a sudden, you know, I was just, (laughs) man, am I going to meet these deadlines? I have to meet these deadlines. You can't not meet the deadlines. (laughs) Like you have to meet the deadlines. So I was like a little freaked out and yeah. Now it's like, ah, oh, I've made it through, you know, the certain percentage of success <laughs> that I feel good about and I'm happy to report that things are on the, the good side, the, the, the light side, not the dark side. <laughs> but yeah, I'm... Also, I'm kind of shopping around for another part-time job. Um, Not a second part-time job. I'm planning to get rid of the one I have. (laughs) And I'm just trying to find something that, you know, maybe pays a little more. Maybe allows me to work maybe less hours so that I'm not so exhausted all the time. Because for whatever reason, this job is really kicking my butt as far as just the amount of hours that I'm working. It's not a physically stressful job or anything like that. It's just, I'm tired all the time and I feel like it's because I'm not getting enough rest and, and that kind of thing. So I went on an interview yesterday for a job that I would be out no later than eight 30 at night. And I'm like, Oh, that's like a, you know, wonderful. But the pay is even less than what I make now. So I'm faced with this this decision. (laughs) And I think, honestly, I think I'm going to keep looking. Because part-time jobs are a dime a dozen. And I kind of feel like it's pretty much the same anywhere. Like most places, there's always a a big amount of part-time jobs available. Wherever there's businesses, there's part-time jobs, you know. And so I think the right one, will, the right one will come along, and I don't need to jump ship just so quick. And I definitely don't need to jump ship into a much smaller ship that has maybe a hole in it and you know is about to sink. <laughs> so yeah, but the job seemed like it would be fun, and I'd be working with students of the co- you know, students that were that go to the school I work at and you know students are fun to work with they're lively bunch and they just have great conversations and (laughs) they're just you know exciting to be around but I know that I would have a similar a similar situation regardless of if I go to another another business that's in the same town that I'm looking in so yeah I'm not too worried about that But anyway, it was, it was a, 
and interesting to learn about the opportunity and things like that, but yeah, I think I'm going to turn them down because they offered me the job right away. Um, she didn't formally extend the job offer to me. She just said, when do you want to start and all this kind of stuff. It was kind of, she, she was very young, you know, the, the manager was in her 20s and uh, I said, well, I said, let me get back to you. I said, you know, I got to figure some things out and I will get back to you. And she's like, okay, great. You know, <laughs> she's a very lively, bubbly girl. And, um, I think she would have been fun to work, work for and things like that. But yeah, I just, I, I, I can't stomach the, the financial loss because no, I mean, I don't really want to have a part-time job anyway. I do it because I want to have the extra money so we can, you know, work on updating our house and you know, maybe go on a vacation this year. Uh, all of our extra money that we used to have back in the day. Um, I mean, I still have my dolly fund money, but, and that still, you know, belongs to me and I still use that. But the extra money that my husband and I bring in as a couple is used towards, um, frankly, like my school loans and stuff like that, that I accrued during the eight years that I was going back to college. So, you know, we just don't have the extra. And, oh, there was something else that happened, too. We had to get, well, the roof. <laughs> yeah, the roof, there's that. That's the big elephant in the room. Uh, <laughs> that that hit us all of a sudden, too. But I had a job before, before the roof situation. What? There was something else, though, that hit us. Oh, I know what it was. Um, my husband was getting out of burning wood and we were getting our wood for zero dollars. All he had to do was go and do the work. Well, the work is taking its toll on his body and anybody that does wood knows exactly what I'm talking about. If you, you know, if you go and cut wood or cut trees down and, and limb them and, uh, split the wood and rank it and just do all that. If you do any of that, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Cause you know, anybody that is, I've ever talked to that knows about wood, they, you know, they can relate. So he decided to stop burning wood. And that meant that we were going to have to go back to our original heat source in our house, which is oil, an oil furnace. And oil is, you know, well, anything, anything is going to cost us more than the wood. <laughs> the wood was free. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, we had, we have friends that have, um, lots of mountain ground, which is how, why we were able to get wood for free. And it saved us all this money and for all these years. And we were able to pay down some of our debt and all that kind of stuff. But now we're back to... Um, incurring more debt because of the student loans, like I said, and now we're going to have to come up with, um, payments for the oil. And then of course this roof business hit us too. So, you know, it's like, you can't, you can't win, you know, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you think you get ahead and then something just cuts your, <laughs> cuts you, cuts you to the knees or something. And you're down again a few notches, but Anyway, um, you know, we're fine. It's just, I, I got the extra job so we can have some money for fun. And my husband is working overtime hours. So he has that luxury of being able to do that at his job. So he doesn't have to be on a job hunt like myself. I don't have that capability at my work. So I do have to look for other work if I want to have any extra money for anything. So yeah, that's my, that's my story. <laughs> right, Lewis? He's like, yeah, yeah, can I bite your hand? <laughs> oh my. All right, guys, well, I'm going to let you go. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and happy belated theme Thursday to you all. And hopefully I will be able to come back on. Um, I can't make any promises. My life can get really crazy. Uh, prom is coming up for Callie and Goldie. Ugh, some of you saw my Instagram post. She has a boyfriend now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and 
and so it begins with her now with boys. Um, she's always, you know, had little boyfriends here and there, you know, but you know, those kind of boyfriends really don't. How do I explain this without making sound mean? They don't mean anything. I mean, they're, they're just like, oh, I have a boyfriend. I have a boyfriend. It's like just to say you have a boyfriend. This is, I believe, the real deal this time. I think it's more along the lines of a more serious boyfriend-girlfriend relationship. They've gone to the movies, and we took them shopping with us the one day, which is the picture I took um, sneakingly when we were at one of the grocery stores that we stopped at to get some food, but we went to fun stores as well. And yeah, we took him to the dog jog with us and, you know, they walked Kixer around the place and, and all that. So yeah, I'm starting with that with the other one now. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know how long it'll last, you know, she's still pretty young and all that stuff, but she seems pretty hung up on this, on this boy, and he's, he is really a sweetheart of what I've met of him so far, I mean, what I've been around of him so far. <clears throat> he is a social butterfly, just like her, and they just have the best conversations, like, I, I'm, I'm a mother, I eavesdrop on my kids, what can I say? I don't know if any of you else do that, but I do it for their safety because you never know what your kids are doing. You know, parents can say they trust their children, um, which I do trust my kids for the most part, but I do also realize that they are children and they are immature and they're going to make stupid mistakes. So in some ways I don't trust them too. <laughs> it's sort of a seesaw of trust. <laughs> I do and then I don't. So I do eavesdrop on their conversations um, because... I can, and <laughs> I listen to what they're talking about, and they do, they, her and her boyfriend really do have, like, really good conversations, they talk about everything, it's like they're best friends, and that's what you want in a, in a uh, partner in life, right, you want a best friend, and so, not saying that they're going to run off and get married or anything. Gosh, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm just saying that they're pretty, they're pretty compatible, I think, from what I see and what I observe. But yeah, my little Goldie's growing up. <laughs> it's, it's depressing. I'll probably turn to the babies more as they keep distancing themselves from their mother and, and leaving the nest too. I'm going to be a terrible empty nest syndrome. I'm probably going to be a mess. I have to try and prepare myself now because in a few short years, one of them could be leaving the nest, you know, soon and uh, following right behind is the second one. And then all we got is Lewis and all the other babies, huh? Yeah, you guys will keep me company, though, won't you? <laughs> All right, everyone. Again, I'll try to leave you again. I, I say that, and then I start talking about something else. But have a good weekend, and I will talk to you next time I talk to you. And hopefully I'll see you in your videos. Bye-bye.